And my young, my students, though, Ro, uh, what they are telling me now is that, uh, you know, they really are upset that uh, Joe Biden is, has has been so close to Netanyahu. Uh, they're upset that uh, that the United States continues to fund this uh, war that, as you said, 25,000 Palestinians in Gaza, 10,000 children killed so far. I mean, can Joe Biden, and why is he not, let's put it this way, saying we need a ceasefire and uh, and we have to have, and, and Israel is going way too far? Well, he, he, he should say that. I've called on him to say that, but here's what I say to young folks. Uh, I say there are many people like me, more progressive uh, than the president. In fact, I was criticizing the president on the Yemen strikes the night before I went to New Hampshire to campaign for him. And they said, well, why are you campaigning for him? I said, well, one, uh, the, the alternative on the Middle East, if you think that Donald Trump is going to come in uh, and bring peace in the Middle East, uh, you're just uh, factually wrong. I mean, we saw it four years ago. He's going to give the far right in Israel a total green light. There's not going to be Palestinian justice or a Palestinian state. The second point I make is that Joe Biden and the White House recognize that there's this younger generation that they need and their voices matter and they're being heard. And I think you've seen a shift in the president's own rhetoric uh, and his own policies in putting more and more pressure on Israel to minimize civilian casualties. And the final point I say is, look, I am so hopeful, actually, about this country. And what gives me hope is the young kids, the kids in their 30s and 40s, and they get it on climate, they get it on racial justice, they get it on economic justice, they get it that America has to do far better in terms of our foreign policy ideals and the dignity that we want for people here should be the dignity uh, everywhere else. And that generation, I want to give them a chance. But let me tell you, if Donald Trump is there, it's going to be a much longer road for them to be able to be in governance and, and, and have their vision. So let's get Joe Biden elected. Let him be the bridge president uh, to a progressive future. And then we need all of you to, to, to run for office and uh